Hey everyone, this is Christian from Jingles Khan Audio Productions and today I'm gonna show you how to create an epic trailer score. Now this week the new Batman trailer came out and I liked the score a lot, so I decided to recreate the music in Cubase. And I'm gonna show you which sounds I used from my libraries, so you can try it out on your own if you have similar software. First, I created a tempo map according to the original score. There are quite a few changes and I tried to get all of them, but I think 90% of them are pretty accurate. As you can see here, there is a ramp going up. This means the tempo increases. You can see the BPM going up here. And it goes down again. And there are a few bar changes coming also later on. You can see that here. Uh, you have to nail this pretty accurate, I would say nearly perfect. So you get the perfect grid for scoring. In this section, there is the original source material. We have the video here. And that's the track for the dialogue. I extracted the dialogue from the score using spectral layers. I show you how you can do that. You select the track and then you open spectral layers. In this menu, we select unmixed vocals. And then you have anything that's in the vocal range separated from the score. So you can choose the vocals here and put that in a separate track. Then I started recreating the atmosphere in the opening scene. We have a lot of pads here and I'll show you which one I used. Okay, so here the dark pad comes from Heaviosity from the Evolve Mutations series. And the other atmospheres are from Albion. And I used this Hyper Orchestra developer kit, made a few adjustments here in the effects section. And this is how it sounds like. The next section features a sample from a Nirvana song in the original score. Since I couldn't extract the vocals of Kurt Cobain, I had to sing it myself. I recorded my vocals in several tracks. This is in the center, then it's panned left and right. And this all goes to a separate group channel just for the vocals. And together with the score, it sounds like this. It's not just In the next transition, we have a lot of percussive elements. It's a warning. And here are my favorite virtual instruments for cinematic percussion. It comes from Action Strike and Damage 1 and 2. Later on, for the big drum part, I added Hans Zimmer percussion with a Tycho sample. And it sounds like this. I'm vengeance. Next up is the brass theme. Actually, it appears three times in the song. And every time it appears, it's a little stronger than before, so it evolves until the end. The first time, it sounds like this. The brass sounds come from Vienna Instruments Big Bang Orchestra. With the trombones patch, you have a lot of options adjusting the sound. Check it out. With the mod wheel, you can adjust the timbre of the trombones according to the intensity of the instrument that you need. The second time the theme appears, the intensity is a little bigger. Black. 
And the third time the theme appears, the brass is really loud and we get that wide sound that we want to hear for this epic trailer score. You may have noticed a few sound design elements here. In the brass section we have a recording of trombones and horns bending a note down. The Big Bang Orchestra Andromeda features this articulation false half tone. It sounds like this, check it out. And you get it in several pitches. I recorded that and bounced it into this track and then I did some time changes and it sounds like this. To double it up, I recorded a synthesizer from Ascension doing the exact same banding. And the third time, it's even more intense. You see here in this part, the octave up gives it much more energy. The last thing I want to talk about is some sound design and some effects. Let's go to the risers. I do a lot of riser production with Native Instruments Rise and Hit. You can tweak the sounds in any way you want. Here I give you an example. These are very short and here I bounced another one that's a little longer. Here I used some distortion and the octaver from Cubase to give it more body and more low end. Production wise I learned a lot recreating the music from the original Batman trailer score. My conclusion is, if you have industry standard sounds, cinematic percussion, some really good libraries for orchestral instruments, and you can use your imagination to make the sound just larger than life with a theme that sticks with the audience until the end, then you have a winner track. Happy composing folks, see you next time. And here is my full recreation of the trailer score. Maybe we're not so different. Who are you now?